Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We just finished our first recruiting mission of Morden Solus, and right now we're getting to know our crew a little bit better. Uh, we were just talking to him about him working with uh, Captain Kirahi in the past, and in I'm Mass sorry, Effect 1... I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here, if you need me. You also worked with Captain Kirahi. Oh, I was going to talk to you about Shepard, something else. How can I help? No, not Have that. Got a minute to talk? Later, better. Think I've cured Joker's condition. Simple treatment would... No, 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 no. Would cause liver failure. Never mind. Start from scratch. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yes, actually. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples. Anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collector? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Uh, let's see. What has he got? Squad member upgrade, 20% tech damage. That's very useful, if I use him. Sure, why not? Okay, now I'm done with you. Let's go over here to the upgrade section. And see what I can do. Assault rifles? Sure. Metagel, I need that. Um, did I just look at you? No, trauma module. What is that? Unity heals your squad to full health. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, what else? Heavy ammo. Yes, sir. All very good. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Flirty? No. Slutty? Well, didn't want to say anything. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Let's go say hi to our pilot. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun, there's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Mm, sometime later... Uh, oh no, I'll show you right now. Joker, and he's the only character I've seen that does anything like this. If you don't select him, but you just look at him for a while, he starts saying very, very funny things. And they just get funnier as the game goes along. Edie, we've got venting from the number 16 lithium heat sink. Yeah, okay, that's not very funny, but it gets better, I promise. Any time. Three headed dog. How come it's only led by one guy? Uh, what? Should be three elusive men? Yeah, this is 98% of my job. I just watch buttons flash. Sometimes I press one. <laughs> Sounds like my job. No, no. I'm still standing here. Don't mind me. Was that button? Nah. Okay. Enough of that. There are certain points in the game I'll do it. He starts saying a lot more funny things. Uh, okay, let's go talk to Miranda. I think it's the only person I have I can talk to. Oh, no. Received a new message at your private terminal. I can go talk to Kasumi and Zaid. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm debating about what to do uh, for my next mission as soon as I'm done talking to people. And I'll give you a little more information on that later because I really haven't decided myself. Uh, normally you would think you'd go straight for Archangel, but uh, I'm thinking about taking a side trip real fast. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Why do you do such evil things? I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. At the expense of others, I'm sure. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. Child the teams care. you encountered before your accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. I don't feel pressure. I just feel... What can you tell me about the Elusive Man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. Yeah, cocky much? You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. Even my left ear. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm especially my left the ear. most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly, and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy, and, well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Well, if it makes you feel better, Miranda, I don't expect anything from you. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. I mean, no, really. Really. You could just sit behind that desk for the rest of the game. I probably wouldn't even notice. Oh, let's go give Gardner his food. Oh, no, you know what? Let me go ahead and end this one here. Uh, you've been watching Mass Effect 2. Thank you very much, and please turn in to the next episode.